not the shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. Grandpa! No, be careful! Grandpa, stop! great excitement in our house. Mum and Dad were going to a wedding, so guess who'd come to look after us? Haven't you left yet? You should be gone by now. Great oh, Aunt oh, Loretta, oh, Grandpa's sister. It's all right, Loretta. We've got plenty of time. What if there's a traffic jam? What if Campo breaks down? Campo never breaks down. Go, go, go! And take the present. Oh. Bye. Bye. Go. Bye. 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 Don't hurry back. And with that, Great Aunt Loretta ran upstairs. She's up to something. I can smell it. I'm ready. Ready for what? Ready to carry out my great plan. <laughs> Not so great plan, more like. Yes, this was the day we found out about... Great Aunt Loretta's not so great plan. I'm going to give Mum and Dad a big surprise. I'm going to redecorate this room for them. You can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. This needs livening up. We need bright colours, fancy patterns. It needs no such thing. Don't worry. You'll like it. I'm getting somebody in to help. Ah, somebody who knows all about decorating. An expert. An expert? Yes, Roger. Roger? Roger? Yes, Roger Splodger. Roger Splodger? Now, we need to cover everything. Come on, Jemima, come and help me find some dust sheets. And you, Jason, hurry up! Roger Splodger will be here any minute. I knew what Grandpa was thinking. It's not a great plan, Jason. It's a terrible plan. Roger Splodger has got to be stopped. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. When Grandpa shrinks, there's no knowing what he'll get up to. He can run so fast as I can't catch him. He can fly on Gordon, my toy seagull. He can even chuff around in our Sunny Sands train. And he can hide in very small places. They're coming back, Grandpa! Hide! But great on the rest, you can't take the sheets off our bed! Don't worry, I'll put them all back after. Where's Grandpa? He's gone for a little lie down, I suppose. It's just as well. He'd only get in the way. And so will you. And so will you. Go on, all three of you. Go on, go and play in the garden. But oh, wait, Grandpa, 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 come on, Grandpa, come on. Him. Please, go. <gasps> go. You can come back when it's all done. And soon, Roger Splodger arrived. Right. I've got my paintbrush at the ready. Let's get started. Hold your horses. Got to clear the place first. Now, you put all those ornaments in into the box. I know what I'm doing. Ooh. I'm an expert, I am. <laughs> this was a disaster. Roger Splodger was taking things off the shelves where Grandpa was hiding. There was no time for him to escape. Any moment, Roger would see him. And he did! Oh, hi, Loretta. Come and look at this awful ornament. Now they've got lots of awful ornaments. Just put it in the box. <laughs> right, let's start with... Some wallpaper. Oh. <laughs> I've got some smashing wallpapers for you to choose from. I'm an expert at wallpapering, I am. <laughs> Roger Splodger and Great Aunt Loretta were so busy looking at wallpaper that they didn't notice Grandpa peering out of the box. So difficult <sighs> to choose. <laughs> oh, they're all so gorgeous. I know. We'll have all three. 
That's just what I was going to say. And we'll have them in... Stripes! <laughs> I'm an expert at stripes, I am. <laughs> Grandpa didn't like this one bit. He knew it would look horrible. He had to do something. <laughs> right. Right. Now you cut some lengths of paper. I'll go and mix some paste. Great. You can be my helper. No, you can be mine. It was time for Grandpa to put his plan into action. He wanted to do something to stop Roger from being able to get on. So he pushed a roll of wallpaper onto the floor. Roger Splodger was a bit confused. Then Grandpa pushed another roll onto the floor. Roger Splodger was even more confused. Then, Grandpa pushed another one. <laughs> Roger Splodger went back to the coffee table. Grandpa was hiding behind a paint pot. Any moment, Roger would see him. And he did. Hold on. I know I put you in the box. What's going on? <laughs> Meanwhile, we were watching Great Aunt Loretta mixing up the wallpaper paste. Don't you know it's rude to stare? Go away! Shoot! Strange things going on. First the wallpaper rolls off the table all by itself. Now I've got a moving ornament. We haven't got time to bother about ornaments, Roger. We've got a whole room to decorate. Come on! <laughs> While Great Aunt Loretta and Roger Splodger got on with the wallpapering, Grandpa jumped out of the box again and hid behind the pot of paste. I shall do the pasting. Grandpa pushed the paste pot with all his might. Oh, don't just sit there. Help me up. Great Aunt Loretta had hurt her foot. Soon, Roger had found some frozen chips to put on it because he couldn't find any peas. Oh, forget the wallpaper. I know what'll be quicker. We'll we... paint the walls. We'll have bright orange on this wall. And deep purple on this wall. Ooh, they're, they're my, my favourite favorite colours. <laughs> but they definitely weren't Grandpa's favourite colours. He needed to stop Roger Splodger before it was too late. While Roger Splodger was stirring the orange paint, Grandpa jumped onto the shelves behind Great Aunt Loretta. Tell me the colour, Roger. I want to see if it's bright enough. Roger Splodger brought the pot of paint over to show Great Aunt Loretta. Grandpa was standing in his ornament pose again. This time he wanted Roger to see him. And he did. Ooh. Ah! Ah! Oh! Some expert you are. It's not my fault. It's that ornament. It moved again. I'm sick of you and your ornaments. What ornament? Where is it? There. Whoop. It's gone again. That's because it was never there. You're imagining things. I'm going to go and clean myself up in the... T t Great Aunt Loretta never says the word toilet out loud because she thinks it's rude. And you're going to start painting! But Roger Splodger wasn't going to start painting. He was going to start looking for the ornament. Right. Show yourself. Where are you? You horrible little This ornament. time Grandpa had gone too far. The ornament was running from one hiding place to another. <laughs> Out you come. Out you come. And Any minute Roger Splodger was going to catch him. I'll track you down. I'm an expert ornament tracker, I am. <laughs> we couldn't stay outside a moment longer. What's the matter? What are you looking for? It's this ornament. It's a little old man and it keeps moving. It's been giving me the whim-whams all morning. It made me spill paint on Loretta. I think 
It's alive. You think an ornament is alive? At that moment, Grandpa ran through the kitchen. Jemima, why don't you go and check on Great Amaretta? I'll look after Mr. Spodger. Weird stuff is happening and nobody believes me. I believe you. Weird stuff happens here all the time. I think the house is trying to tell you, so she doesn't want to be decorated. You really think that? If I were you, I'd leave before anything else even weirder happens. Just try and stop me. I'm off. You can do your decorating yourself. And with that, yeah. Roger ran out of the door. As soon as he'd gone, Grandpa came out of his hiding place. Cap off Grandpa, quick! He took off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. Oh, smart thinking, Jason. We stopped Loretta and Roger Splodger from ruining our lovely home. Teamwork, eh? Yes, Grandpa. Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> we cleared up. We put everything back where it belonged. Just before Mum and Dad came home. Oh, everywhere's looking very clean and tidy. Somebody's been busy. I've got to get out of this stuffy suit. Oh, and I've got to get out of this ridiculous dress. <laughs> That's the last time I get in an expert, I can tell you. Well, I'm glad to hear it. That Roger Splodger was a nightmare. How would you know, Grandpa? You never even met him. <laughs> <laughs> Arise, Sir Horatio Pugwash. Arise, Your Majesty. That's what I said, man. Arise, jumping jellyfish, arise. Uh, how much, sire? I'm rich, I'm rich. I'm... Wake up, Captain. It's morning. Uh, eh? Uh, what's that? Morning, Captain. The crew's ready to start work. But, 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 but I was having a beautiful dream. I, but I dreamed I was being decorated. No, no, Captain. It's not you that's being decorated. It's the ship. Tom was right. The day before, Pugwash had decided that his ship should be the smartest on the seven seas. And on his orders, the pirates had bought up every paint pot and brush in port. Uh, let me see now. Uh, the modern ship is painted from stem to stern in brilliant colours, um, inside and out. All outdated decoration should be dispensed with. Uh, ah, there you are, Master Mate. Crew all present and prepared to proceed with the paintwork, Captain. Proceed away, Master Mate. <laughs> It is customary, Pirate Willie, to rise to your feet when your captain approaches. I can't, Captain. I'm stuck to the unrail. Yes, well, that was very foolish of you, Pirate Willie. Uh, 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 the modern figurehead should represent some well-known personage or heroic figure. Quite so. Uh, well, something will have to be done about that. Ah, yes. <laughs> a great improvement. Oh, I don't know. You'll want a blooming cannon's polish next. Ah, there you are, Pirate Barnabas. I was just thinking the cannons could do with a polish. <laughs> And that, me hearties, might be said to be that. Except for one little matter in me own cabin. Uh, what was it now? Um, uh, ah, yes, sir. Uh, pillars are no longer in fashion and should be removed whenever possible. 
and I find that particular pillar particularly tedious. Kindly remove it. But, Captain, that particular pillar you call it is no matter what I call it, Tom. I'm tired of it, sir. So... Now, Captain, I if I was you, I... But you are not, Master Mate. Remove that pillar this instant. <laughs> Come to think of it, that pillar's been there ever since I had this ship. All the more reason for getting rid of it. <laughs> Thank you. Look out, Captain! You all right, Captain? As it happens, I am, Tom, but battling barnacles, whatever was that? The mizzen mast, Captain. You see, if you'd looked at this picture, you'd have seen that it goes right through your cabin to the keel. You made him cut off the bottom of the mizzen mast. And this time, as he surveyed the wreckage around him, it was the captain's turn to say nothing. <laughs> Chateau Shampoo, there's Boris Boo Hoo. And Boris is too. Boris is trouble, you wait and see. But they don't care, they love to be hairy. I've had this brilliant idea, Chris. Chris, stop! Oh, hello. Really good to see you. Hi there. Excuse me. Chris, I was talking to you. Oops. Sorry, Wiggy. <laughs> <sighs> so, what's the brilliant idea then? <laughs> okay, ready? Mm -hmm. My brilliant idea is to paint the hairy fairy tree house. Paint the hairy fairy tree house? <laughs> Why? Because I wanted to look all bright and colourful. Oh, remember when Boris Boohoo tried something like that? Yes, I do. Uh, no, I don't. Oh, OK, I'll start the story and you join in when you remember. It all began one bright sunny morning in Harry. I remember! It all began one bright sunny morning in Harryland. And up on the hill in Chateau Shampoo, someone was still in bed. Can you guess who? Boris Boohoo, what's he gonna do? We were in the hairy cactus tree, looking through the window. Boris Boohoo looks really miserable. He always looks miserable. Yes, but today he looks even miserabler. I don't think miserabler is a word, Wiggy. Boris was feeling miserable because his life was dull. The shampoo factory was dull and his bedroom was really dull. But suddenly, he had an idea. If he had a bright new bedroom, maybe that would brighten him up too. And then he'd be the happiest person in Hairyland. Boris leapt out of bed. I love it. He was going to make it happen. Yes, this was going to be the day Boris got a bright new bedroom. But was Boris going to decorate his bedroom himself? Of course he wasn't. He rang the Boise bell. And Boise Boohoo came running in. Boris told Boise his plan for a bright new bedroom. Then 
then he started bossing Boise about. They began getting the room ready for painting. Or rather, Boise began getting the room ready for painting. Boris Boohoo is the lazy fullest person in Hairyland. Lazy fullest, Wiggy? That's not a word either. Hmm? Boise was just moving a plant when he heard someone laughing in the garden. Someone he liked a lot. Minnie ha ha! And when Boise saw Minnie, he waved and dropped the plant. Minnie asked Boise to come and do some gymnastics with her. And Boise never says no to Minnie ha ha. Boise pleaded with his dad to let him go and see Minnie. And Boris gave in. But now Boris would have to find someone else to decorate his bedroom. But who? Time to look through his hairy starey. Boris saw Nana Ha Ha painting in her arty den. Well, that wasn't surprising. Nana's always painting. But Nana would be the perfect person to decorate his bedroom for him. So now what Boris needed was... a plan! Boris needs a plan, a plan, he needs a plan as quick as he can. He needs a plan, he needs it quick. He needs a plan, a clever trick. What'll it be? What'll it be? What'll it be? And Boris's plan was this. He went to see Nana and told her what a fantastic artist she was. The greatest artist in Hairyland. We'd followed Boris so we could see what he was up to. Next, he made a huge fuss of Nana's latest painting. Which was odd, because Nana's latest painting was of... Chihuahua! And we all know Boris Boohoo hates Chihuahua. But now he pretended to love him and to love the picture of him. Then Boris went on to the next bit of his plan. If only his bedroom looked as bright and cheerful as Nana's arty den. If only there was somebody who could decorate it for him. And kind-hearted Nana fell right into Boris's trap. She'd decorate his bedroom for him. No problem. <laughs> Boris's plan was working, so he took Nana back to Chateau Shampoo on his clatterbanger. And we followed on our papa picket. Oh, boo hoo, clatterbanger's on his way home. And Nana ha ha is going to. Oh, and Nana ha ha is going to. Clatter. Bang a bang a bang a bang a Boris told Nana that he wanted plain white walls and everything looking clean and tidy. But Nana wasn't listening. She just wanted to get started. There's loads to do. Is Boris going to help her? Hmm. What do you think? Na Nana handed Boris a paintbrush so he could help. But Boris said he was far too busy to do any painting. He had to go and make shampoo, which was very, very tiring. Then Nana had an idea. She picked up the hairy howler and made a call. Gookaba. And very soon, who do you think had come to help her? Go. Chana. <laughs> Ma and Pa ha ha. <laughs> 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 I love Ma and Pa. They're the helpfulest people in Hairyland. Helpfulest? Not a word, Wiggy. Tis now. So while Boris put his feet up, Nana, Ma and Pa set to work. Me? Pa! <laughs> <laughs> the Ha Ha Hairies got out their brushes. They got out the paper and paste. They set to work on Boris's bedroom. No time to waste. No time to waste. Paint, 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 blue, blue, blue. Everybody had so much to do. Paint, 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 blue, blue, blue. Soon Boris's room will look like new. <laughs> they couldn't decide on a colour. What colour 
to put on the wall. Orange or crimson? Purple or blue? Ooh! Said Nana. Yes. Let's have them all! Paint, paint, paint. Blue, blue, blue. Everybody has so much to do. Paint, paint, paint. Blue, blue, blue. Soon Boris is through and look like you. Paint, paint, paint. Blue, blue, blue. Everybody has so much to do. Paint, paint, paint. Blue, blue, blue. Soon Boris is through. But lazy Boris Boohoo had no idea what was going on in his bedroom. Because he'd fallen asleep. Just then, Boise and Minnie arrived. They suddenly heard the laughter coming from Boris's bedroom. They burst in and saw that Boris's bedroom looked like this. It was covered in pictures of Chihuahua! Everyone loved the pictures. <laughs> Boise said thank you lots and lots of times. <laughs> then he had an idea. He told them to wait right there. Boise rushed into the shampoo factory. His dad was fast asleep, so he didn't want to wake him. Boise picked up as many bottles of Boohoo shampoo as he could carry and was just tippy-toeing out when he did this. <laughs> and Boris woke up. Ah! His bedroom should be finished by now. He was so excited about his new bedroom, all clean and white and bright. Boise gave Boohoo shampoo to the Ha Ha Harrys to say thank you for all their help. <laughs> but at that moment, Boris flew up the stairs, threw open the door, full of excitement about his bright new bedroom. Mm, I think he asked for plain white walls. Uh-oh. And Boris had wanted plain white walls, not walls covered in chihuahuas. The Ha Ha Harrys all pointed to the chihuahua pictures. They knew Boris loved chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> Boris must have hated all those chihuahuas on the walls. <laughs> oh, yes. Because Boris doesn't like you at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, you ready to paint the hairy fairy treehouse then? Yep. Let's go for it. <laughs> paint, paint, paint. Blue, blue, blue. Soon our treehouse will look like you. <laughs> <laughs> you know how nobody knows we live here? Yes. And that nobody must ever find out? Yes. Well, if we paint the treehouse so it's all bright and colourful, then everyone will be able to see it. Oh, no.